everybody. <laughs> this is a completely normal intro for a completely normal episode <laughs> of season 12 of Rivals of Waterdeep. Hello, so how I'm are so you all? <laughs> Terrified. So we're going to die. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, we're great. Fine. Fine. Um, so I have a confession to make. Uh, I told our wonderful producer to finger guns at me when it was time to go live. But of course, because I was so busy waiting for that, I forgot how the intro goes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. So, wait, wait, um, is, 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 isn't there like a person there with cards that's like pointing at the cards? With, with, yeah, there's actually with card. a card. Sorry, one second, one second. With second. cards. Yeah, I got somebody right here. But yeah, they're, no, no. next card. Next, next card. <laughs> they're telling me what I got to say. It's right there. Yeah. yeah. Is, there, is there a name for that person? Card? Is there like Our, a is that the name best person? boy or is that the, just the Your card best person? Friend I just, is there the is a name, name for the person. person. I just yeah. call them Ashley because that's their name. But right, <laughs> first name. It's a first name basis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you all for joining us uh, on our uh, on the day of our third episode, yeah. uh, the day of my daughter's wedding. Um, <laughs> on this the day of episode three, really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Thank you for making. I am fun. your I am your humble dungeon master, Lucia Jaquise, and this is my beautiful sparkling cast. Who I'm going to go around and have them introduce themselves, starting with Tanya. Hi, I'm very lost because I'm the only non-theater kid in this cast, so I'm real lost as to what y'all are talking about. Don't out us like that. Don't out us all like that. Oh, <laughs> I'm outing <laughs> all of you like that. I'm the non-theater, non-singing, uh, talented I'm, person. No, I'm, um, I'm not theater either, so I'm I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> so me and Sharif will be in our corner, uh, but when we're when I'm not being lost and confused by my castmates about theater references, I play Sleeze Astorio, your paladin ranger. Uh, pronouns are she, her. You can find me ever online at Cypher of Tear. So hopefully I don't have to make a new character sheet when this is all over after this very normal episode. Totally normal. Uh -huh. uh, welcome back, Sharif. We missed you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. I miss y'all too. Uh, I'm Sharif. I play Shaka, uh, Tiefling Celestial Warlock. Uh, he, him. And uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, seeing what's going on this season. Excited. I was going to say, I was waiting for you to drink so that I could call on you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brian. We do this all the time, and you'd think that we'd be good at it by now. Um, I'm Brian. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. I play Virgil, the Asmar Storm Sorcerer, whose pronouns are also he, him. And today, his shirt matches his drink, which is, like, super fancy. Isn't it great? Uh, Eugenio. Hello, uh, I'm Eugenio, I'm DM Jazzy Hens. Uh, I am playing our tiefling rogue Kent and also proudly repping my theater kidness with my <laughs> stage actors union mug. <laughs> I <Wow>. adore you. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we have Masood. Hey everyone, I'm Masood. I play Gosric Nomrad, your business social man druid. Um, and both of our pronouns are uh, he, him. And I will be uh, occasionally Dahani, she, her, who is here, and a wonderful cast of characters and NPCs whose pronouns vary. And uh, that's going to be cool. Just to give you all some context, right before we went live, we did go into um, theater practices, like theater, yeah. like, like oratory. I don't even remember what they're called anymore, but warm, that's not warm important. Ups. Warm up, warm that's, ups. That's the word. Yeah. Those are them. <laughs> <laughs> we can do they them, we just can't they, name them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Worked. <laughs> wow. Uh, so let's move on to the next portion of this disaster of an intro with the ad reads because people sponsor us for some reason and we are grateful for that. So Sharif, take it away. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I do want to hand it to Masood. He was begging to take this for me, but uh, <laughs> I got to grab it. I gotta grab it back. I gotta take it one, back. One day, Sharif. Uh, one day. One day. He doesn't, he doesn't one sound. Day. He doesn't sound as schmilky as you. Is the thing. Not I also, I stopped it like immediate. Like not even immediately. I think like at sixty percent. Like so, not even like no one could replace you. Nice. It's all good. Um, yeah. So y'all, uh, D and D Beyond. Uh, we uh, have been rocking with D and D Beyond since the beginning. Um, so if you want digital character sheets, you want access to spells on demand, looking up monsters, 
managing encounters, all that good stuff, make sure to check them out at dndbeyond.com. Uh, if you're in the chat, uh, listen to the live show, we'll be giving away uh, an adventures bundle. So be on the lookout for that code. Um, if you're not listening live, we love the VOD, love podcast, love, but y'all, come on, y'all. Sundays, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, get in here at twitch.tv slash Rob's Waterdeep and get a chance to not only see us live, but win some dope stuff from D&D Beyond. So make sure to check them out. Um, our dice trays and vaults provided by Wormwood, W-Y-R-M Wood. That's wormwoodgaming.com. And if you use the code RIVALS, you get free domestic shipping on your order there. Uh, also, fill that up with some dice. And we're proud to be sponsored by Die Hard Dice. Check them out at dieharddice.com. Um, everyone has their four stuff. I need to just write four shaka on something. Yeah. I'm just, just going to write it on <laughs> like. It's going to it's gonna get to you. It's coming. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Eventually. Um, it's so pretty. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those are really nice. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, and use the code uh, RIVALS uh, for 10% off of your dice there. Um, if you'd like to adorn your place with various forms of geeky swaggery, uh, such as, as, as I said, Masood's mug and only Masood's mug, because he sends that to whoever orders from there. It kind of goes around. It's like the Sussurra um, of the Traveling Pants. It's really quite a fun experience that I always get it back by Sunday. But you can join the chain. Yeah. It's a, it's yeah. a physical NFT. It's the only one you can have. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. No. It is. It is. It, 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 it like is definitely. The- it is absolutely a non-fungible mug for for sure. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, what? There was another per, uh, uh, flat Stanley. Yeah, flat Stanley. Oh, right. Everyone's yeah, yeah, flat Stanley. Yeah, it's like it's like the it's like the flat Stanley of uh, mugs. So. Uh, we apologize, Stormcrow. Go to shop.stormcrow.com. Uh, you, you can get all kind of dope stuff, shirts, masks, mugs, uh, all kind of great stuff to uh, make your place look more awesome. Um, and if, if you use the code Rivals, you get 15% off of your order there. Uh, if you want to sound, oh, so silky smooth like the Rivals crew, make sure to check out Blue Microphones, crew.bluemike.com slash Rivals. Um, if you click on that link, any order that you place there, we will get credit for that as well. And um, if you want to enjoy us in yet another form of media, uh, check out Idol Champions, um, where the rivals are coming through um, in Idol Champions. It is on every electronic device imaginable. Uh, I could probably run it on a Game Boy. Um, it's on everything. Um, we have Salise in there. We have Shaka in there. We have Dahani in there. We have maybe some other rivals coming. We have uh, the uh, familiar that uh, that uh, Brian was a big part of adding into the game as well. Disco, um, disco, as he shows the disco ball, um, and and we uh, they recently just like announced some some buffs. For the characters that make cool things happen when there's more rivals on your squad so um love to see it um yeah so uh make sure to if you're in, in the chat type in exclamation code for the for the weekly electrum chess code that'll help you, you level up and get some gear in that game um and also there's a uh Upcoming Court of the Raven Queen uh, yeah. streaming show, which I'll be a part of as well, and a bunch of other folks. So make sure to check that out. Um, and uh, check out Warriors of Waterdeep as well. If you type exclamation point wild gems in there, we get free gems every week to help yourself in that game as well. That's so many people and so many fun friends. Yeah. Uh, but now, it is time for us to hop into uh, this. Everybody, it's time. Get your whooshing apparatuses ready. Mm-hmm. Get your dances going. I just, just a couple steps back, you know. <laughs> Please don't hurt yourself. Are you about to? Are you about to? Okay. Oh, we everybody have whoosh concerned. into the into the internet. Everybody yeah. whoosh responsibly, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh, this is gonna I be have, a reckless whoosh. I have a concern. <laughs> Previously, <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> oh God! Previously, on uh, Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. 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 
Yeah, there, right, it is. Well, yes, there they go. There, there, there they go. There they go. You can go back and tell in our like podcasts and bods and stuff where we started having the whoosh emote because there started to be a 10 second pause after the whoosh so we could just, just like, watch chat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so our podcast listeners, I hope you enjoy. I know this. we we had a yeah. natural, like there yeah. was even a natural pause at PAX where we were like, we know it's happening. So we just happening. like, we're going to hold. We yeah, know it's yeah, happening. Yeah. <laughs> It's worth it. It's our, a tacit wait. It is. Um, all right, everybody. What happened last week? We went home. Mm-hmm. And everything was fine. Everything yeah. was fine. Some folks. Oh, I mean, some before shopping. that, before right. that, there was shopping. Mm-hmm. There was shopping. Uh-huh. We were still back in the caldera in the frost spell. Right. And uh we were shopping out there with all of our money. Mm. Ken Salise went shopping. Gosric and uh, <laughs> Virgil had a great time. You know, they really, really bonded. Um, they they attempted a conversation. Yeah. It went great. Uh-huh. There were beats where it was present. I think it, eventually they found how their wavelengths matched. Um, I, I think like, I don't know. I really enjoyed talking about home and like the concept of home with Virgil. I think that was like a fun re- like reality to experience. Uh, and also discussing the possibility of thundersnow as, as anyone should. Um, and then we also had a, a feast in our honor that was really, uh, I believe, beautiful and like decadent. Um, and then we came back home and everything seems to have been okay. Just uh, like, you know, Virgil and Kent just left and it's even beyond more okay than they expected to return to. Like. Right. It's too okay. <laughs> More okay than it was. Which, yeah. It's, it's, it's too okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you say that, I worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, there was a cel- celebration of your deeds and some of your misdeeds in the Lednik Caldera. And... <laughs> And you were sent home with your um, with your your treasure, your uh, a sizable portion of um, of dragon meat, uh, yes. and uh, the knowledge that you did something really cool and you're awesome. And you arrived home to see Duo and Brian helping patrons in the in the bar section of the manor. It was clean. The 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 shop the, the the stall was covered by a tarp. The dragon wormling was sleeping, and <laughs> sure, we should have immediately checked. We should have immediately immediately checked. It's you. It's doppelgangers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we begin this session with a tunnel. It's not a very large tunnel. It's dirty you know it's a tunnel uh appears to be underground it's dark it's uh cramped it's it's not wet it's fine um and out of that tunnel pops a small four-legged shiny boy who dusts himself off he shakes off the the dirt from his adventures and heads back upstairs crawls into a bassinet and goes to sleep. And uh, it's morning in Troll Skull Manor. And what is everybody doing? Sleeping in because it is so warm here. I mean, look, (laughs) housing was warm in the caldera, but like this is, I have never been so cozy. You know how like that first warm day after a cold winter, like after a big blizzard or storm or whatever, mm. and, like any warmth you can find, yeah. you just hold on to. That's what we're doing. And by we, uh, I mean me. <laughs> wow, you just you just left Virgil. Well, I mean, no, he's Virgil. To stay. Virgil. Virgil saying. got up early and and went and made like tea and grabbed a book out of the library and then actually is back up in bed reading while while Kent is sleeping. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Salise is out uh, training with Fenris after breakfast. Nice. 
Awesome. Yes, uh, there there was breakfast made. Like in addition to the tea that you made, Virgil, and uh, yeah, there was there was breakfast. I think uh, the oh no, please. Oh, uh, I think Shaka would be. Um, he has left his room, um, and he is basically uh, trying to. I guess is I guess inspect inspect uh, uh, Brian. Uh, he's he's just trying to make sure that Brian's all right and that he's uh, adapting to his uh, to his new body. Um, well, well, I guess it's not that new anymore, but he's he's like adapting to it. Um, so he's like asking him different questions, maybe giving him some small like mobility tests, like mm-hmm. uh, like like uh, like uh, tr- trying to set up little obstacle courses and such. <laughs> uh go ahead and make me an investigation check yeah why not I mean, like the construct show like we're gonna have little mo- like we're gonna have a little o- obstacle course and there's gonna be a ramp and a tunnel to go through and <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah maybe all right we got a 14 a 14 cool um so yeah you come down and uh brian answers all of your questions and you know he's he mentions that um uh every so often either zephyr will come here or he will go to zephyr and um you know for maintenance and and these same kind of things so he uh maneuvers through your obstacles with relative ease sometimes his 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 legs are a little a little choppy but it's he's doing well his body looks a bit more like a body versus a um, versus a uh, constructed amalgamation <laughs> of spoons, forks, and various chairs. <laughs> okay, all right, that, that makes me happy. And then, Solis, go ahead and make me an animal handling check. Uh, sure. Hopefully, my dice will not turn against me today. I'll be. I have to go close my door. Okay. Oh, animal handling. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm so glad I have a plus eight. That's a 17. Nice. 17? Awesome. Yeah, that was going to be rough. I, I watched the die just kind of thunk and then tip over. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, yeah, you and so where do where do you go to? Are you just like outside or are you? Um. Salise actually has gone out and back. Do we have like a backyard to Troll Skull Manor? There's not really a backyard um, because a troll skull alley is a little cramped, but there is just like some some space where you can be out of the way of people who might be walking. Like walking. Um, In that case, she's gonna try to find like a green-ish area, someplace where a they wouldn't be disturbed, and b that you know while Fenris is still being trained as much as she can train a dire wolf puppy that there's not like little kids going puppy because she actually wants him to be a good companion and she also doesn't want people seeing her going good boy who's a good boy (laughs) I love this yeah you can find a a nice quiet green spot like it's did you like it's it's early enough where Waterdeep isn't bustling yet so Mm -hmm. There is the occasional person who walks by, but it's not uncommon to see people with their pets doing various things. Um, but yes, you two have a very good training session today. Um, he is starting to take commands a lot better um, than in the caldera. And uh, he walks, like he 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 heals very well. Like when y'all walk together, he walks by your side. He doesn't get so much distracted by you know, activity anymore. Um, it's a good, it's a good time. Yay. I give him some bacon as a treat when we get back. Yes. Fenris can have little of bacon as a treat. He's a growing puppy. He can have a lot of bacon. <laughs> a lot of bacon. Just a side of bacon now. For <laughs> <laughs> a rasher of bacon just for my wolf. Perfect. Absolutely. Uh, 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 Gosric, what's what's on your agenda for today? I think Gosric wakes up pretty early after going to bed the night before, um, and goes into the kitchen to like make breakfast. 
and mm -hmm. apparently sees that it's already done and very odd and thinks to investigate it thinks to investigate it because it's like no one like he's always making breakfast who else would make breakfast here and I, just, I, I think I just want to find out, like, yeah, because they'd have to okay. know where all my utensils are. <laughs> sure. Uh, so go ahead and make an investigation or perception check your choice. Okay. I rolled investigation and I got an 18, also nine on the die. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you, <clears throat> you can't find anything out of the ordinary like all the utensils are there all the like there's food in the cold storage there's um you know everything is is stocked mm -hmm. and uh it's you can't tell what is Okay, you know what? Don't look a gift horse in the mouse. Okay, it's fine. It, someone did this. It's okay. Um, grab like a little mug of coffee. Steps outside in his shorts, just uh, enjoying, in the similar way that Kent is buried underneath blankets to be warm. Gazrik's enjoying sunlight on his skin without biting cold. And like, e even if it's not like seventy degrees, if it's like above 40 he's having a blast um and i think he, he's just going to take a walk around the neighborhood um looking at sort of what are good investment opportunities what are businesses that might be worth putting some money in of into, uh, like in around the area yeah okay mm -hmm. um what is your passive perception passive perception is 21 okay excellent oh no no sorry no no uh, 15 15 i was reading my oh. passive insight Incorrect. Oh. 15 is my passive perception. Okay. Hmm. Um, so yeah. I'm not going to cheat. Uh, <laughs> I can see your character sheet. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Anyone can. <laughs> um, so yeah, there are, um, in the North Ward, um, there are quite a few businesses that look like they could use um, a little bit of a, a cash boost. Um, as you know, um, the, 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 uh, more the nobler families of Waterdeep have been kind of doing that to various uh, to various areas in the city, um, which is you know kind of how par partially how this whole thing sort of started uh, in the last year or so, like you know catching the attention of of um, of some of the, the the noble families whose names that I can't remember right now because they're in another notebook. Uh, <laughs> But uh, you are, you, you see many, like many uh, businesses, like uh, there is a, um, uh, a carpenter who uh, uh, has, as you're walking through, um, through Waterdeep, he's, who's just opened um, his, uh, the, the, the sign outside says the building bear. And uh, he's just appeared to open the, the doors as you pass by. Building bear, the building bear. Okay, so what do you do here? Uh, inside, you see uh, quite possibly the burliest person you've ever seen. Um, barrel chest, and he looks to be about six three, six four. Cool. Um, he looks like a, he looks very much like a strong man. Yeah. And uh, it, inside, you see all manner of um. Uh, like there's there are tables like there's like one long table and then like there's the shorter table that is stacked on top of that one and you see there are chairs around it and um, you see like benches and and all sorts of like house goods. Mm. Uh, and he says, um, "I build furniture." Okay, like take a time to peruse and look around. And what's your name? Ken. Ken? With an Ken with an I. Ken. Ken, sorry. Um, okay, Ken. 
you want to expand? How's business been? Do you want to are you looking to grow? What's what's things been like for you? <laughs> yeah, business is good. People always need furniture. And you're meeting the demands as they come up. There's no sort of supply <laughs> chain issues you're running into along the way. No, the forest is plentiful. There's lots of wood. Mm -hmm. And uh, things are things are pretty good. Okay. Uh, aren't you? You're Gazric, right? Yeah, that's me. I'm Gazric Nomrad. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Big. No, that's not true. I'm not going to lie to you like that. I mean, I know who you are, but I can't really say that I'm a big fan. That's, I appreciate the honesty. Yeah. I'll be honest. I, I was not a fan of yours until I walked into your shop. I see fine craftsmanship. It, I've recently come into a position of um, wanting to give back a little bit to the city, hopefully without my name being attached so much. Well, and I stopped funny. in your store. Um, yeah. If I, I don't mean to push you, though. If you're happy, your business is good. You don't need to do anything. Do your thing, man. I mean, if you want to give... Do you need furniture? Honestly, not right now. I don't. Uh, well, do you do any? Well, hmm. I take out a dragon scale that I've been like holding that I like carved in a little bit of the skin. I was like, what do you what do you reckon you could um, furniture you could craft with this? And he takes it and he yeah. gives it a, a once over. Mm. <clears throat> he's holding it uh about how big did you how big a piece I, did you give him i think for gazer it's literally the size of his face so it probably fits in his palm like it, it, it's like a palm size uh scale one of the smaller ones off like a knuckle like we, this is the one that he keeps on him to show that like he has them yeah okay um so he holds it and yeah. you're correct in, in in his palm it's it fits like right in the palm of his hand mm -hmm. he's a very large man um he looks at it and he says well he like he knocks at it and like you know bends it and stuff like that well it's i could probably put this on something but in terms of like crafting can't really do much with this you all are nonsense mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> uh but yeah in terms of like crafting like i could i could adorn a, a table or mm -hmm. a, a wooden piece with these uh but i can't really craft anything out of this um okay but you know the the, the craftsmen in, in water deep are all uh well connected and it, i mean you don't have to let me hold on to this or anything but this is i could get in contact with some people okay where, where can i find you oh uh, troll school manor you know just around yeah it's where we're at and right, I I, recently like i've said I've, i'm looking to invest and grow a little bit in the area i've also come into a little bit of um of a collection of these scales and uh so if there's any folks who you trust or worthwhile um let me know, because I uh, trying to expand a little bit as not just an adventurer, but also a businessman um, and also a man of the people, as you know. Right. Mm. Excellent. All right. Yeah, cool. Uh, I will. <laughs> I will. Uh, I'll send somebody your way. Cool, Ken. Thank you. Um, and as, as Gazrick's walking out, um, I think he looks and he finds like a small end table. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna take this. Uh, how much? Uh oh, uh, all right. Um, this is it's very finely crafted. It's it looks um, it's made of like a darker kind of like like cherry. I don't know if cherry is dark. Cherry is dark. it's made of dark wood. I'm not yeah. wormwood. Mahogany. Love wormwood here. <laughs> Mahogany. Do love wormwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's got uh, the the legs of it are um, carved to look like um, like bird feet. Oh, perfect. like very like 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 very subtle at the bottom. It's like it's like standard legs, and then at the bottom they look like bird feet. So, um, angling for this to be a gift to Dahani. 
No. No, this just comes up off the top of my head. I didn't want sure. it to look like anything else. Sure, sure, sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, uh, he says, um, uh, two, two gold for that one. The, the bird feet were pretty intricate to, to make. Ah, I get you. I get you. Understandable. Uh, here's 10. No haggling. I'm going to walk out. I will see you. Bye-bye. I'm going to detract $10. 10 gold. 10 wall- water deep dollars. 10 water deep dollars. <laughs> Wait, um, can you make me a strength check? A strength check? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh God! You Ooh. picked my worst strat. Uh, yeah. um, it's a minus one on the die. Let's see how it goes. You know, drop the scale. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking. Natural at how- two, baby. Yeah, oh, that gives no. me a dirty one. Okay. Oh! Um, okay. So basically, you just had to not roll a natural one. So um, oh, wow. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you that one uh, because, like, you you drop this gold in this man's hand and he's counting it and you're dragging this table out and he says hold on a second yeah. hold on uh you are you sure yeah i'm positive man like like please i like your work you're doing good stuff this way you remember me if you want to do more work in the future if you don't you at least made some money this is a nice table clearly you did it all by hand and you gather local materials you're going to the local forest i i I understand the good craftsman when I see one. Well, look, if you drag it out of here like that, you're going to ruin the feet. So he picks it up and he, mm-hmm. where, where, where am I going? Uh, Troll's hole. Come on. So Ken, what do you think about thunder snow? And, <laughs> <laughs> and we <cut. laughs> uh, uh, Celise, um, as yes. you are, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you drinking. <laughs> Uh, as you are uh, walking back with Fenris to Trollskull Manor, um, you uh, in in the street you see a very familiar um, a very sorry I lost my water bottle. Uh, you see a very familiar uh, white haired, white feathered Aarakocra uh, coming in your direction. I forgot their name. It's 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 Baldo Waldo. I am not saying that out loud. His <laughs> name is Walter. It's Wal- Walter. Legal name. I don't know who it is. Come uh, on. It's, it's, it's Baldo. <laughs> no. I refuse. <laughs> um, d- does does Walter see me as well? He does. He's he's uh is is he makes I well as he makes like person to person contact with you. He begins walking in your direction very quickly. Oh, and I just, I just pat Fenris on the head. He's not, he's not food. He's not oh. food. I know he's a big bird, but he's not chicken. It's okay. And, but depending uh, he, on what he says, he could be lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's dressed, he's dressed finely. He's um, in, in kind of like neutral, neutral colors. And mm-hmm. he's uh, carrying some sort of musical instrument, but he sees you and he raises his, raises a hand and he says, uh, Solis, right? Yes. Good. Um, is, so you're here, which means that you all are back, right? And Solis just kind of looks around like, oh, yeah. Okay, great. Is Dahani at home? As far as I know, I got up pretty early. Okay, great. Can you give her this from me? And he hands you a letter. Sure. Um, and it's uh, it's an it's a it's a parchment envelope, um, and it's got the honey's name on it. And if you turn it over on the on the back, there is this a seal with a C on the inside on on the into the wax. Okay. I didn't know that postal person was now on my resume, but sure, I'll drop it off. Thank you very much. Uh, How are you all doing? We're fine. Okay, great. It's it's been a while. I haven't seen you all in a while, and I had been stopping by the manor to see if you all were back, and you hadn't been back yet, and I see you, so I assume that that means that you all are back, and I I realize I could just go by myself now, but... 
I'm doing some other business in the city. And Great. You should go do that. I will do that. And then he like turns on his heel and like marches off. And I just look at Fenris and then look at this letter. I should have just slept in. I should have just <laughs> slept in. And I, I just, you know, start walking back to Troll School. Where is Dahani anyway? Dahani? She is uh, in her room. All right. Assuming I remember where her room is, because it's been a while since we've been there. I uh, I knock and, and see if she's up, because I'm guessing it's still early. I don't know what time it is. Time is a uh, flat circle. Uh, <laughs> time is soup. Time is time is soup. Uh, but yeah, you knock on her. Her door is actually open. So you, you know, just knock to announce yourself and she looks out and she says, oh, hey, what's up? Your, your, your eagle buddy saw me and wanted me to give you this letter. Oh, okay. And she takes it from me. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. Everything Sorry. okay? Sorry. Yeah, no, I've just been a bit off since the fight. It's... Well, that was a lot. You, you took a lot. You, you almost died. Yeah, I did. I've never yeah. almost died before. That's it sucks. It really sucks. Yeah, but I'll be good. Like, yeah, I just it's just taking me a little bit longer to get like properly back on my feet than I thought it would. But I guess almost dying a bunch will do that to you. Yeah. Do you need anything? You good? Is that letter okay? Uh, and then she actually like. <laughs> She pays, uh, she actually like turns her attention to the letter and she turns it over and she says, oh, it's from the Castle Lanterns. They probably want uh, me to do something. Do you still work for the Castle Lanterns? Yeah, it's more like a contract position or... Like, are you a free, are you an agent? I don't know. This is actually the first thing that they've asked me to do since that whole de demon devil nonsense a couple years ago. Um, so, you know, they back paid me and they were like, we would actually like you to do some stuff for us. And this is the first thing. So I guess uh, I'm gonna check it out and see what's, see what's up with that. Okay, just leave a note, you know, don't, don't overdo it. You're still recovering. No, I'm not going to overdo it. I never overdo it. All right. Are you going right now? Uh, probably. I'll let everyone know you're off to see the cast lanterns then. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Just, just don't, don't get dead. Okay. I will not get dead. I promise. All right. No more, no more worm fights without us. Oh, heck no, of course not. All right. And uh, I, I, I step out of the way. So if Dahani's leaving, she can go. I'm not going to be in her way. <laughs> well, she, you see her start to like pack some stuff and she kind of, uh, you know, just starts to get ready. She leaves her door open, but you see her starting to pack and get ready. Um, I'm going to say that it is uh, approaching noon at this point. So uh, if... Kent has emerged from his blanket fort. Uh, <laughs> where, where, where is everybody? I actually go door? knock on on their door to see okay. if Kent and Virgil are up. All right, so Kent and Virgil, there is a knock on your door. Yes. Are you decent? Ah. Uh. Who is that? <laughs> That's that that. That's none of your business. We're decent enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> please, please come in. Wow. So you had a really good time at that party, I see. <laughs> so I, I just kind of peek my head in. Just checking. Mm. I'm, I'm back from training. Oh, wow. That didn't sound like you at all, Kit. Yeah. You have morning voice going on. Uh, well, it's still... It's one o'clock. Yeah, it's almost morning. <clears throat> it's it's. You mean tomorrow morning? <clears throat> Hi, how are you? 
Um, Morning. Afternoon. Um, is he always like this when he wakes up? I mean, if he wakes up, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And and actually now this if if this is weird, just let me know. When Fenris actually like pads over and like hops up in the bed with them. Just a delighted smile on Virgil's okay, yeah, face at this up. point. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. He likes you. Mm. Hi, Fenris. Ah. And Fenris just like flops his head on your lap no. and like presents his ruff to be scratches. He's, Scritches he, are definitely given, but also I'm remembering the size of Fenris, and I'm like, okay. You, you live there now. There's a dog. There's wait, a big uh, old dog. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, good good training. Yeah. He, uh, he, he was very good. He got some bacon. And uh, how, since I had to give something to Dahani, I was just making the rounds before I go and get a nice hot soak. And figure out lunch. Sounds good. I would. I don't. Mm. When I went downstairs for my tea, food was already made. That's not. Is that normal around here? Well, the thing is, I didn't hear Gosrick anywhere. You. So is that. There was also not a spider to be found in the meal. So I don't. Hmm. No, How the unforeseen servant. <laughs> where did you even come? I just jump. I'm like, oh god, where did you come from? We all just you hear spectral Gosrick in our head, that. like what? Yeah. No. Oh, no, oh, no. I think no, Gosrick's arriving like in the frame, like with like um. the end table at that exact <laughs> moment, like sets it down. So, <laughs> do you have other cooks? No, duo I... cooks, but he knows how to make like two things. I assumed it was Brian. I really thought no 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 oh no i i like having my stomach not turn against me <laughs> not can... you uh, uh i'm gonna why don't we this is there was food i would like some to yeah. help determine oh, well, who I mean, made it. now that you're now that you're up yes there is food you know okay, good. let's where's shaka so since Shock has been, um, you know, kind of around Brian, um, uh-huh. I think he already saw said food. Um, and he, if you go downstairs, you will see Shaka uh, not eating yet, but definitely looks like he's getting ready to put together something and eat on his own. Uh, yeah, well, we should all gather to mm-hmm. solve the mystery of breakfast, which I have to say is so much better than the mystery of the great worm in the frost fell. So um, <laughs> I'm into this mystery. Yes. Uh, yeah. Let's find out. I mean, I looked around earlier. Whoever was making and cooking in here didn't put anything out of place. All the equipment was back right where it was, you know. Yeah, definitely yeah. not duo. Yeah. Right? Um, I guess food is fine lunch i mean lunch sounds great i it wait yeah it's 1 p.m is the food different is it no longer breakfast it's a continental lunch like a br- yeah no no, no 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 but i really no 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 but did like this a brunch change, man did this, brunch. no but did the spread change while, like in between oh well, you're breakfast? actually asking if i'm yeah. li- like that oh. someone with someone was there i listen general question because then someone else would have been working in between right. that time, right? Like, yeah. So, it's yes. True. Is, is, we should go downstairs and see if there is now lunch food. Right, right. right. Is the yeah. Narrative <laughs> statement that none of us have yet made. <laughs> so I was being serious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like it. I, 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 I don't think Shaka has asked that question. He's just gathering so, whatever's there yeah. and ready to grow. Okay. So, Shaka, have you been in and out of the kitchen this whole time? Like, uh, what, what have what have you been doing while this? Uh-huh. Well. So like I, you know the like we like we mentioned earlier the obstacle course stuff, talking mm-hmm. to Brian, all that kind of stuff. Um, if I would think that would take all the time. If it hasn't yeah. though, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. So um, after that, yeah, I'm in the kitchen, uh, 
gathering up food for myself because I'm hungry. Yeah. Um, so as you all come downstairs, you see Shaka coming out of the kitchen with a plate of what looks like not breakfast. Oh, hey, guys. How's it going? Don't eat that. Was... Don't eat that. He's like, I try to grab it out of Shaka's hand. Hey, oh, my God. Is... What are you doing? We don't, we don't know Whoa. where this food came from. This could be poison. Uh, that's right. Do you oh, have other that's... food? Because I'm very hungry. I... <laughs> I want to. Is there, I'm, what is I'm gonna, wrong I'm, with you? It's not dispel magic, but I want. Do, do I have detect magic? I don't, I don't even think I, I have detect magic. Detect poison? Yeah. I'm a poisoner I've... who cannot apparently detect it enough. <laughs> you know, I think it's... I'm, a, I'm immune to All you to can disease. do is deliver poison. I can taste yeah. it. I'm immune to disease. I could taste it. Yeah, but oh, disease oh. ain't a poison. Um. All right. Well, I mean, I trust. Y'all, y'all can test this. I don't think I have anything to test it with. Um, um, would prestidigitation get rid of any poison? No, it would just make it look a lot better. It would be very pretty poison, it would just look very nice. Um, How how warm is is the food that I'm holding right now? Um, pretty, pretty warm. Okay, I hand it back to someone else and I want to rush into the kitchen. Like, I like, yeah, yeah I want to, yeah, Virgil wants to peek into the kitchen as well. Yeah, I give um, Shaka his plate back, like, yeah, <laughs> it just got straight back. To Shaka. Yeah, th- this is absolute <laughs> torture though, because I have to yeah. hold the food, I can't eat it. I'm uh, with you, Shaka. You, I have not had breakfast, I just you it could eat that it. bad a poison. Wow, I mean, that would be our empirical data Actually, if you did eat it, but let's you know, let's, let's ease go, up on that. Right. I think Shaka is. If he's left to his devices, he is going to try to eat at least a little okay. small oh, no. morsel and of it. And I'm going to tell you that if it's if Virgil is not around, then so is Kent because <laughs> I'm going to be like, look, I'll know immediately, right? I can't. I mean, look, I'm not saying it's not going to affect me, but I'm going to know if it's there, probably, maybe. Yeah, it's just a small morsel. I mean, yeah. af- after all that, like caldera food all, the, all all that all, all that caldera food i'm like yo man this is this is hard yeah. to deny and uh, it looks good it's 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 water deep chicken and waffles oh my oh. god oh it's oh. a crap. god if you poison chicken perfect. and waffles As i am coming for you we could have actually waited <laughs> you better not oh my god it. roscoe's give me, give me. manor <laughs> uh, this is better than those magical carriage large michaels okay let's okay. go <laughs> yes oh i could do a large michael um, <laughs> oh shock is absolutely uh yeah, yeah he he's sorry am, yeah. you, you said chicken and waffles to you i'm sorry chaka is That's okay. That's okay. Okay. taking yeah. more yeah, than no. a small morsel because yeah, no, and virgil are checking out the kitchen at this point <laughs> yeah so yeah. Godfrey, as Godric and virgil head into the kitchen and kent and uh shaka are like drooling over this uh plate of water deep chicken and waffles uh yeah shaka and, and kent you you have a little bit of the chicken a little bit of the waffle there's syrup it's warm syrup? it's delicious oh. it's delicious and both of you don't die sweet yeah uh <laughs> i'm sorry Celise, did you accompany gosrick and virgil to the kitchen i'm so sorry no, I basically am looking between Kent and Shaka to see if either of them drops dead. Okay, so yes, you are there, and uh, they both look transfixed, but it's the food is good, and uh, and they they don't die. Uh, Gosh, and Virgil, you go into the kitchen, and uh, it's just as it was earlier. The um, the food is is there and warm and prepped uh like there are like there are some dishes in the sink like you can tell that think these things have been recently cooked but um he it's it looks like a kitchen it's like one o'clock um yeah Virgil, uh, like, I'm just assuming the kitchen has like a prep surface somewhere. 
Uh, mm-hmm. Virgil's going to run his finger across it to see if there's actual dust. Uh, no, there is no dust. It's a little, it's a little damp, like it was just recently wiped down. Hmm. Um, Gosrick, this is a strange question. Yes. Do you have a catering service for the manor? The answer to that strange question is a simple no. I do not have a catering service for the manor. I cook everything, though I am honored to think that you would... I'm both honored and a little insulted that you think now <laughs> the catering... Like, never before while eating the food. It like is it's not... Just no, it's the food is always good. It's uh-huh. just, you weren't here. There's food here. Yeah. I, mm, I, okay. I guess just, I, you know, I, um, I'm trying to look... I don't get um, it either. What is it? It, it, it like, at this moment arc- <laughs> from the other room, you just hear Kent yell, This is the best food I've ever eaten at Troll Skull Manor. Mm. Okay, see, that is suspicious. Not that your food isn't good. Okay. But I mean, like, it has to be a trap. There has to be some sort of mind is- control happening with the food. Yeah, Kent is out there about to sing a song about right. this food, which we means clearly- it is not just good, it is beyond good. So, oh my God. Um, I, I'm looking at my character sheet like I have the worst Arcana check in the world, but I would love to just get <laughs> yeah. a sense of is there anything funky happening in the kitchen? And I'm because all the the other the other checks don't really yeah they don't really lean into this. So yeah, I'm just gonna check for a general ma- a magic elan in the kitchen if there is one. Oh, Can I give it. the help action while he's doing this? While- you may roll that Arcana check with advantage. Brian. Can I do a nature check while this is happening to see where this food might have come from? If it's actual sure. food, yeah, or is, sure. it, is it is it fake cursed food? If this is cursed, I don't want to remove curse. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, you oh okay? God. You're not gonna believe this. Wow! Holy both cow. of them, both Double. of them. Double twenties on the Double advantage. Double twenties is not right. Uh, <laughs> something is not right. Double crit. I, well, you I don't mean, there is a curse. Check. <laughs> there oh my is a God. Curse. <laughs> I didn't think that's a thing that could happen. <laughs> oh, it could happen. Very unlikely. Double. Very unlikely. All right. Uh, so, no, you, go, you can still go ahead and make your checks, please. Oh, man. But I'm let's... like, eh. I win D&D, everyone. Go home. <laughs> I know. <laughs> bye bye. It just doubles Minus the amount seven... of trickles and waffles. Minus 17. <laughs> 17. Okay. So, um, We'll resolve these in in numeric order. So seventeen, Salise, you're taking a look at this at this chicken and waffles. You um, I, you may even have like asked for a piece. It tastes like chicken. It mm. tastes like waffles. It tastes really good. Mm. It's like the the ye old um, waffle house in in my hometown. Uh-huh. It's pretty good. Did we, did we get a, yeah, did we get someone from Tarami yeah. in the kitchen while we were gone? Oh, they put the ankle in it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you just hear a groan yeah. from the other side of the kitchen while hearing yeah. <laughs> Waffle uh, House is everywhere, man. Look. Hi, uh, Brian, not 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 Brian, Virgil. Uh, Brian, uh, Urban Bohemian, briefly steps out of the, <laughs> he walks out of Tulsa Manor. <laughs> <laughs> um, Virgil. You are at this moment uncommonly attuned to the energies of Troll Skull Manor. And you know, you haven't been here for as long as the rest of them, but you know this is a weird place. Weird stuff happens here. And in this kitchen, at this moment, you feel, especially with everybody singing the praises of the food in the other room, you definitely feel some kind of other energy in this, in this house. You feel God in this chilies tonight. (laughs) 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 On a two for Tuesday? What? I know, man. And Salise is like, Tear, is that you? <laughs> Something's going on in 
do i mean like it's low is it is it basically like even a general just the entire manor like i'm i'm in the kitchen but it's like no no it is it what well, you feel a presence in the manor not just in the kitchen but you feel a, a presence something something someone something is here um gosrick Something made this food. Some thing. I'm not looking at the Zoom chat. <clears throat> something. Some something made this food. When I came down, there was breakfast here, and I know you didn't make it. And now you're telling me you don't have staff. There's something in here that made this food. Not only made this food, cleaned up after making this food. I knew Thoughts, it. ideas. I, I, I knew it from the moment we walked in here, from the moment I stepped in this place. I was like, Trollskull Manor, possessed. This is a possessed manor. This place, straight up possessed. I knew it. These are demons. This is demon food, okay? No one eats any more of the demon food. No, only my you, cooking is what we eat from now on. No. Uh, I can guarantee you. Even, you, you hear that has... through the wall from the other, like, <laughs> yeah. through the wall. From the other, like, demon <laughs> food! <laughs> Just, yeah, I, yeah, I can guarantee you Shaka has eaten more of uh, said food. Um... um and you're every celestial warlock. You're eating demon food. Wait. Every no, time he takes a bite, food. it's every, not every, demon every, food. <laughs> yeah. Every, every every time he takes a bite, he looks at Kent uh, to make sure to see if he's been affected at all. If he looks fine, and it's merely food of unknown origin. <laughs> Kent, normally, Kent would have absolutely pretended to be poisoned by this food, but it's so damn good that he's too distracted to even do the gag. And at this point, he sort of feels bad continuing to like mooch off of Shaka's plate. So I think I'm going to make my way to the kitchen to just inform Virgil and Gazrik that like, it doesn't matter if it's demonic or poisoned or what it is. I'm getting some more. And you do that. I do. And, Hi. Um, I, it doesn't matter if it's demonic or poisoned or what. I'm getting some more. <laughs> oh, I forgot and, to. Yeah, oh, so good. No, no. What, what's up? I just forgot to look around. Is any... um. Any of what Shaka walked out of the kitchen with, is there any sign of more of that being in the kitchen at this point? Oh yeah, there's a, um, like the, 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 the cast iron uh, skillet is tempering on the stove. There is a plate of chicken. There is a plate of waffles and there are several, like not carafes, but there are several like containers of syrup. Damn. Troll skulls possessed. We gotta go. Troll skulls possessed. <laughs> I told you. Like we know. Said, I've seen oh, it no, every year. Every like, black I'm family in a horror movie. We gotta go. Tonight. No, we out. Okay. Mm -mm. Like, we in the little horror house. We out. Time. <laughs> so Lee's just like, like I can't do it, but she does the whistle thing of like, <laughs> hold on. We're not. We just got all the money in the world. We can just hire a cleric to clear out the manor if it's possessed. I, that's not my specialty, sorry. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> I'm not a cleric, I'm a paladin, enough, but, but now I'm going to double check my character sheet because now I don't know. <laughs> Just in case. Um, you didn't add the exorcism skill to the-, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I could change my skills, but I've got calm emotions. I could do that. Oh, so yeah, okay. something is definitely going on here. There's something that made this food that was not us, and I don't know what it is. It's so, but it's so good. Virgil just like looks at Kent like, could you uh, stop mm. eating the unknown food? Mmm. <laughs> So, oh no, I can't. That never mind. Apparently, it's that good. So, um, no. <laughs> I just, what can I say? Yeah. At, at this point, um, Duo, who has been elsewhere in the manor, uh, attracted by all of the noise that you all are making, it's he comes downstairs and he's like, What is going on in here? They're Duo, being this, weird. This, Duo, this a food you made is incredible. It's incredible. I, I didn't make this food. I've Don't been upstairs. Make I make no let me so I, I make <laughs> I I make food sometimes, but uh I did not make this food. I've been upstairs cleaning. No, who 
did make a suit. Oh. All right, who made it then? Leaf. Leaf. What? what? Leaf. Who? Who is Leaf? Leaf is here. What? Wait, Leaf is isn't Leaf a ghost? Yes. Who's Leaf? Like me, he's uh, a ghost. You're not well, a ghost. Uh, oh, I. Salise Wait, has only Leaf. Been here like a year, but I think that ship yeah. has sailed. <laughs> I, I am I am looking around and I'm saying Leaf's uh, name at this point. Leaf, Leaf. And I'm turning around looking for oh him. So it's there's a... been ghosts this entire time. This entire it's... time there's been ghosts, and no one thought to mention that to me, huh? It's just a ghost. I'm sorry. Did you say it's just a just ghost? Just a ghost. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, we've, uh, Leaf, we've, Leaf, we've gone to Avernus. It's just a ghost. Yeah, exactly. Leaf, Leaf is a dear friend that we helped out. Um, that's been at Troll School Manor way longer than we have. Um, and we helped him out and we helped uh, like reunite him with his uh, family. Um, and nice. I don't know why he's back, but I just want to see him and give him a hug. And I'm looking around. Can you hug a ghost, and- Shaka? For Leaf, I can try. <laughs> I can try. Um, uh, so for for uh, you 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 the Leaf Leaf, and uh, there is in fact a shimmer in the air. Um, where is everybody gathered at this point? Have you all come out of the kitchen? Yes. If we have, it is the most unrealistic thing the rivals have ever had. Leaving the kitchen of a party. <laughs> wow. We all good understanding, wow. Good understanding of everyone's energy <laughs> and the group. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're probably is... back out in that dining area, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's a shimmer in the air, and sure enough, there is Leaf. Oh. What's he wearing? Um, You can't quite tell. It's ghostly and translucent. It's, oh, it looks awesome nice. Awesome though. DM answer. I love that. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. He's gonna, wearing clothes. He's not wearing tatters. He looks. Yeah. Right. He's, he got new going, ghost clothes. I am going to attempt to hug Spectral Leaf. Uh, so you do, and you kind of go through him, but you feel something there. Like it's all it's, good. it's it's kind of like um, it's kind of like walking through a mister you feel a little cool (laughs) oh okay all right leaf how you doing wait why are you why are you back uh i came for a visit oh you talk oh my god okay well like your family's good like like there's there's no issues right everything's good everything's good all right then Keep the chicken flowing, my man. <laughs> I mean, I like I've heard a lot like y'all are words getting around, you know, I had to come and see what's come back and see what's up. Yeah, we just hope that we are um, we know that you've been at the manor for a very long time. We just hope that we've got it to a place where you feel that, you know, that you feel that we're honoring you know like the memory that you've had of the manor um that yeah that is like up to your level oh yeah yeah and there's definitely like when i got here there was nobody here except for those two and he points at duo and brian and things were looking a little rough they were looking like 63 percent rough uh so (laughs) i had to uh I figured I could do y'all a solid and spruce the place up while you were gone. I'm a ghost. It doesn't take much. Oh, cool. Yeah. And, and then I turn around to uh, Kent Gosrick and Virgil and I kind of just explain brief summary of uh, what we've done with Leaf and the uh, background. And uh, yeah, and I'm just excited. I, okay. I, I, I I like do it like very excitedly too because I'm very excited. Yeah. Oh. I think I, as you're like explaining it, Gazer definitely loosens a little bit of his like nerves. Uh, and like this is the first ghost he's had real interactions with. So I think there's a little bit of him dispelling some of the myths that he learned in the frost spell <laughs> and everything. And so I, I, eventually though, he does settle on one thing and he says, so is the deed 
do you know where the deed of Trosco Manor is? Is it in your name? Is it in like do you like is it here? Uh well, let's see if I remember right. I died. Then <laughs> you came here. And I use the general you in this sense because some of you, I don't, I've never seen some of you before. Mm. Um, And uh, then y'all got the the papers and then I don't know what you did with them after that. Wait, the deed should be in the office. Remember all we did to try to make sure that Duo didn't, you know, basically lose it to creditors. Right. No, yeah. no, no. I, I definitely hear you. I just wanted to make sure that our deed was factual. The fact that it, oh. it, I, from what I, my knowledge of Trollskull's history was that this was a ghost building that just appeared. And you guys, I didn't know how long squatters rights would allow us to just sort of no, be here. No, no, and, no, no, no. It's okay. not just a, it's not a ghost building. Uh, it is an actual factual place that exists in Waterdeep that I ran a very long time ago okay. until I died and I didn't want to leave. Got it. And then you all showed up. Right. And so. yeah, no, it's a real place. Yeah. Oh, what? yeah. Like, <laughs> just like God, like a duel over there is a, uh, a ghost. I got you, bud. Okay. Duo's so, not like so. Oh, go ahead, Brian. So to be clear, friendly ghost, yes. good cook, no worries. Correct. Virgil immediately ducks back into the kitchen and comes back out with food for him and Ken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give yeah. me one. Uh, Virgil goes back and like, basically it's like he'll just keep he basically goes back in while y'all are continuing to talk you like, not, did you not go to the you can get proof of ownership from from the castle ward you can't find the deed have, no right? we have the no, deed we have, we have I'm, gonna, the I'm gonna go in the office and look for the deed hopefully that portal to Avern is closed right, it's so manageable that's, that's last time I checked sucking you in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what my deed you hear a yell, come help me. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, Be sure to tie the safety rope before you go into the room. Oh, that's like where all the garbage goes. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 right. oh, that's no. like the recycling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Very that's where those... burn a hole. <laughs> wow. So, did you build Trollsco? Like, were you the original owner? Yes. Oh. Oh. Kent was Uh-oh. already excited Uh-oh. to meet Here the we go. chef, and <laughs> oh, now no. we can talk about. I now there's someone oh, that Kent no. can talk about the history of Waterdeep and like you know what the city looked like architecturally all those years ago. So new best friend, <laughs> we're never leaving. Uh, well, yeah, oh. this was this was this was my place. Uh, Solis, go ahead and roll me an investigation check as you uh, make your way into the office. Um, the portal to Avernus is still there. Um, okay. It's not as large. Um, you you think that it, in in the return from Avernus, and then with the assistance of maybe the Blackstaff and the Open Lord, it it looks it it looks like you're looking at a mirror, like a full body mirror, but on the other side of that mirror is a, a hellish wasteland. Mm. Well, my physical dice have failed me. They're going to jail. That was only a five. That's only a five. Okay. Um, it looks a lot, again, more organized in here than it was. So you, you think you may have Leaf to thank for that, but the deed is there. Okay. There's a there's a, a, a water deep equivalent of a filing cabinet and it's in a, a folder marked important. Um, and then inside that in folder marked important is another folder that says, really, do not lose this. And then there's the deed. So it's my re- real life filing system, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it says, you know, deed to Trollskull Manor uh, given to y'all from Volo. Y'all. <laughs> y'all on it. Wow. <laughs> it says y'all. <laughs> y'all. Give it to y'all says, on some day. Right, it, it actually is. <laughs> It's it's blank because, uh, as we know, canonically, Volo just gives it to whoever 
saves <laughs> Flynn. And so he already had it written up and he just like put your name here. Gotcha. Uh, I love that. Now question is Volo dressed like Dandelion like he is in Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We should, we should fill this out. <laughs> we should. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's there. All right. I I just I put it I leave it in its very safe folder and go back. We've got the deed. We're good. At some point we should sign and notarize it so there's no more issues. But we have the deed. We're good. We're good. Okay. Terrific. That's that's great. Wonderful. I'm going to try some of your food leaf. I'm I'm just going to tell you it. I'm not I'm I'm not going to be happy before I try it. I might be happy afterwards. But I'm going to try some of your food. You know, I appreciate your honesty. It seems it it seemed like you were a little a little upset prior to knowing I existed and that's that's understandable. Well, I mean, who walks into another you i i don't cook in other people's homes i don't touch their utensils you cooked here before you lived here didn't you no i waited until it was okay and then i offered to make you ice spiders or uh, omelets and everyone loved it no no we didn't no one loved that well i'm going everyone to go just like that <laughs> <laughs> i go pop up grab a plate of the food begrudgingly eat it delicious i bet <laughs> don't don't be a hater ask for tips what is it like to cook with meat that you don't have to like its native state isn't in a frozen tundra because i have to like charboil a lot of meat to like because it's like that you know like it's a lot to work that is your why don't you just let it sit and defrost so I got a week to let an ice spider defrost, dude? Like, oh, man. What? I think at this point, Leaf kind of like floats on over to you and then there, <laughs> there, there begins a discussion about cooking. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And at this, at, at this stage, like there are still people like coming into the like, you know, the occasional patron coming into the bar and Brian is doing his job magnificently. Um, and I think it just kind of like lunch continues like this. Um, Dahani does come down and actually have lunch before she leaves uh, because all the commotion brings mm -hmm. her out of her room and who is she to pass up chicken? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but wait, That's if she's an Aarakocra That's a bit mm. and she eats chicken we, she, she says with a chicken leg in her hand we don't think about it too much <laughs> Guys are eating a waffle like I agree with that. Fish eat fish, whatever. Uh, I mean, the, yeah. I mean, we did bring home meat with a oh. baby dragon in the house. Not the same thing. And I'm not a dragon. I'm not being a cannibal. I'm making a, uh, can I make a quick perception <laughs> check on the bassinet? Just just real fast. I need, I just at the moment you mention it, I was like, just want to care. Just a quick look over. <laughs> okay. It's a 16. Oh, go ahead. 16. That's empty. Yo. Guys. What? Guys. 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 Hey. Guys. Guys. What? We know it's good. Jill. No. What? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Over. No, it's really good. I literally run over and I just kick over the bassinet. Guys. Kick it over? I kick what it over. What's wrong with you? That, that it's empty. Actually, it is a large, it is a very large thing and you couldn't lift a table. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. need a strength check, bro. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of, speaking of, Ken is actually sitting at one of the tables with a drink. Like, you, Ken. does this happen? Ken, yes. Ken. Like, 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 you are my Ken with yes. I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and he's he's like, uh, you said you didn't need any furniture, and I could think of a whole bunch of stuff that could. I mean, this furniture is great, but I didn't make it. You know. Yes. Been here the whole See, that's time. That's what Who happens when you over tip. Okay. <laughs> this is Ken. He's going to do all our furniture because I'm contributing to the local economy because we're going to be a new family in Walter Deep. That's a long term plan. But prior to that, where is our baby? Whose baby? What? Our baby. Our dragon. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. I like it. 
Words matter. I like right. it. Well, this is our baby. Well, I like this is, our baby. Yeah. This is our well, baby. This is <laughs> not our baby. It. This is um, our baby. Well, while this is happening, uh, Virgil Virgil is going over to Brian to 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 simply ask. Um, so where where is the where is the baby dragon today, Brian? <laughs> two Not things the... happen here. Two, two, <laughs> two, two things happen here. Um, Ken goes, "Y'all have a baby dragon," and then Brian <laughs> goes, uh, "Sometimes he goes on walks." What alone? Does he always come back? Yeah. Does anyone see him? That is an unfair question to ask you, Brian. I realize now in retrospect, I apologize. I mean, probably. We haven't heard any like right. local news reports about a dragon <laughs> wandering free in the city, have we? <laughs> Well, is, on Water Deep Seven. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. Well, is is there a time that the dragon normally comes back? Uh, like yeah, evenings or? Yeah, in about the evening. Okay, so then let's just wait till the evening. If this is a normal thing, I mean, we can't like restrain it. I mean, uh, you know. Uh, I mean. So there's only so much we can do to keep it here. I mean, he, it 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 always comes back, and we've never. What's it doing? <laughs> I yeah, you, I mean, you we know can't put a is, leash on it. Yeah, Brian, actually, like, there's no, um, there's no. He doesn't have facial expressions, right? But Brian says, "I've never thought about that before." Just. Do you, this is, oh, actually Kent might know this because he and Brian were he, or here in Virgil, sorry, were here uh, while the rest of the crew was gone. Does this wormling speak yet? Um, yes, but not uh, just, just draconic. Oh, interesting, okay. Well, I got nothing. Never mind. <laughs> Damn. Damn it. Check, check's language list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do we want to take a quick pause? Really? Okay, cool. Oh, nope. uh, okay. We're good. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, great. Uh, well, I, I, it feels important that we are aware when the dragon returns and address this. I just, I'm, I have a small concern uh, because in my my studies of of uh, Waterdeep since I since we came, um, I just I they have a I don't know the details, but I feel like there's a tumultuous history with dragons in this city. I just have a concern for the baby. I mean, I agree. I have a concern as well, but at the same time, I feel like if we chose to bring this thing here uh there's only so much we can do um sure you know um i think this is just something we kind of have to manage and live with or else send it uh either back to the caldera or somewhere else does anyone have tongues or comprehend languages like do we have any way at this young age of actually conversing with this Double check. I usually, uh, I usually try can, that, but yeah. Can we? Have... Would the DM allow like a animal handling to sort of uh, not to oh. speak to it, but to sort of try to pick up what its intent? Like it's. Uh, yes, the extra, DM would, uh, but also mm -hmm. Dahani, who is still here eating, pipes in and says, "I can speak Dahani. Hi, oh. I'm here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so, Dahani. I mean, it. I can delay my uh, departure for a bit to to talk with the baby before before I, you know if it comes I mean, back testing that would be um it just it, i agree with you shaka that clearly you know this isn't just a, a a humanoid baby uh but more capable and majestic but but maybe we should just ask kid you know yeah i mean it can't hurt it yeah. can't hurt 
I can I can find it right now. Like I, I out of character, I can cast locate creature and try to like just like determine where it is within as much as we can from our area. And like guys, uh, if we want to just know where it is until it gets back, I can try and keep a track on it. And so that way, Tahani, if you want to leave and then come back, you won't feel like you're missing anything. Or well, if you if you want to do that, Tahani says, still here, um, then do I, I would I think you should do that before I go. Cause that mm. way then if we know where the baby is, that's a little bit safer than not knowing where the baby is and then just having it come back and then be like, oh yeah, yeah. Mm. so. Agreed. Okay. I will cast Locate Creature then. Use a fourth level spell. Yeah. Within a thousand feet of me. <laughs> and if he's not within a thousand feet of us, oh, he's wandered so We far. have other problems. So <laughs> far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. We just gotta take Gosrick wandering around the city, pinging. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, I, I'm good for an hour. Let's move. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Let's move. <laughs> okay. Um. So you, uh, you ping locate creature, and um, uh, let me look up that. I know you said a thousand feet, but like yeah. you're focusing on Bibby Dragon. Do 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 do. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. Cool. Um, so you actually do, you get a ping, um, just probably about five to 600 feet away and beneath you. Okay. They're like 500 feet underground, which Honestly, makes me feel a little more comfortable if they're taking, if they're like in the old water deep, like taking the tunnels. Yeah. But also scary because there's other things in old water deep. Yeah. And uh, you're con- it's so it's a concentration that lasts an hour. He yes. it, it is moving and very slowly. Okay. I'm really worried if it's Let's- that far underwater deep, y'all. Okay, um, we can, let's go, let's, uh, we can track it down. I'm sure that it's, uh, there's a manhole cover just down the alley a little bit. Well, um, allegedly, uh, you know, there's a lot of rumors that way below Waterdeep is uh, where the Xanathar uh, reigns. Uh, oh, I see what this is. Yeah. So hopefully not, um, but just wanted to throw that out there that um, it's definitely possible. Okay. Okay. So do we want to go look or do we trust what Brian has told us? Yeah. The dragon comes back every day and probably will again today. And, you know, (laughs) how much autonomy do we want to give this creature who is eventually going to be hyper intelligent and powerful but currently is technically a baby i mean what rearing right i mean i don't know I mean, what we, is really involved in dragon totally. rear. <laughs> okay. yeah nobody yeah. looked this up before we brought it back yeah like we yeah maybe maybe there's some candle keep books on uh, rearing a dragon <laughs> we'll have to look we'll have to look because i don't want to raise an elder worm like th- th- think about that think about that right like that i we, mean we don't want to put that in the we, universe well we were down we were i mean we were there briefly with the whole with the whole problem with our Nea and 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 we just like popped up from a nearby um, from true. a nearby sewer thing. So I mean I I don't know why a wormling would want to go underground versus in the manor, but uh Gazric the movement has stopped uh it's it's now not moving not like it's not moving but it's not exploring the way it was and i think this might be a good time to get a move on in connecting to it 
a brief clarification. So the movement has stopped. It is not moving further away. The right. movement is centered in wherever the baby if, seems to be. Oh, it's what if our little dragon is trying to start a layer? This young. I mean, and also, I don't know anything about gold dragons, I mean, and this one's kind of special, right? And I mean. Yeah. The whole process of bringing it into being was, you know, Mert was trying Wild. to replace the the the. the we like really words, yeah. don't have enough information here, do we? <laughs> no. Well, the the only thing I know is if it's that deep, it I don't know. It, that definitely scares me. Uh, we haven't been that far into Undermountain, and I don't know about y'all, but I I at least haven't been to Skullport down there, but. Uh, now, sorry, yeah. uh, Gosric slash Latia. It's yeah. 500 feet down and and how far away from like laterally? Oh, good question. Not ve- it, it, Gosric, it feels beneath Troll Skull. Okay, so just it's like, like kind of straight, straight, like straight yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. Straight not, down. So, so not quite, so, so yes, straight yeah, down, yeah, but not... maybe even like a, a six inches to the left. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Six inches. <laughs> that would have been down and over there. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, Shaka, you know that while, like, you know that while Undermountain is, like, vast and a good portion of beneath Waterdeep, it's mostly, at least the entrance to it is contained beneath the Yawning Portal. Yeah. So, and I don't believe Troll Skull is that, is is that close to it. Yeah, it's not, it's not six inches from it. (laughs) It's not six inches to the left. (laughs) It's like, um, oh, yeah, no, oh, there's a yawning portal right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Looking, <laughs> looking at, I guess, looking at, um, you know, looking at everybody, is, is there access to the 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 under sewer chambers from Troll Skull, like from inside? I, I think we'd have to ask Leaf. I mean, there is so much to well, this manor. Yeah. There's well, so much even, to this manor. There's so many right. intricate things that we found. Uh, when we first met Leaf, um, uh, that I would not be surprised if there's a bunch of stuff that we don't know. Yeah. Um, okay. I yeah, do I remember that we went to a under, like there was sort of like a performance area and a um, thing that was pretty far underground. Um, so yeah, there there's definitely some secrets here yeah. um, that uh, we should probably we we could ask Leaf or maybe even Duo because he's definitely yeah. been around when he's been cleaning and, and setting up the manor while we've been gone um a few times so yeah i think that either either duo or leaf would probably be able to give us if some info on that if there isn't a way directly from here i can always um uh, leafify myself uh mm. ghost form and just take a quick jaunt straight down uh, and just see what there is. I, I can probably make it there and back. I wouldn't have a ton of time to linger, but mm-hmm. at least I could see what's up. If there isn't, I would m- much rather have you all with me. So if there's a, another way down that Leaf knows. Uh, but that's- Question. Mm-hmm. Question. Mm-hmm. Is there anywhere we could look up city plans? <laughs> No, I'm, I'm Salise and yeah. I are being serious. We, did, we, yeah. we, we did that last, what's it, when we were scoping out. We oh, did that yeah. uh, two seasons ago when we were scoping out where to um, where to observe things. So, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, so I was, wherever right. that is. Virgil was more asking if anyone, because I remember the most that Virgil's experienced is a cellar, like a wine right. cellar. Right. That was as far down in Troll Skull as Virgil's aware of. I was like, is there... Is there a grate down there that keeps going? Because we didn't pop up in the wine cellar. We popped up across the street from Troll Skull and went right, in. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right y'all, don't know your, y'all don't know your house. <laughs> I'm, I mean, this is you a know huge, how those things go. mysterious house. Right. Well, and well, once you're there, like the weird things just sort of stop being weird after a while. You just get used to them, you know? <laughs> and also some of these entrances and exits might be wormling sized and not human sized right that. like so, like so there might be a a benefit to us taking a like a known route at least underground and then searching for it but mm. yeah 
Well, what does Leaf know? Leaf, what do you know? All right, sorry, I was, what, what is the question you were asking? Like, what is the specific if there question are, you were asking? If, if Leaf is aware of any tunnels or passageways in Troll Skull that lead basically down in six inches to the left. <laughs> 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 yeah. 100 feet down and six inches to the left. Six inches to the left. <laughs> yeah. um, I love it. Mm. I mean, the cellar, <laughs> have you maybe looked, have you checked the cellar? Because I I had plans to do things to the cellar and maybe the, the y'all have a dragon? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on a moment. I'll be, I'll be right back. And you see Leaf kind of like go out of existence, and he's gone for like. It's not disturbing. He just, he's gone into the ether. Um, yeah. Ah! Bye. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, you see, he, he disappears for a moment, and you all are kind of left in in this awkward, confused silence. And uh, then he. Pops up behind you, Gazrick. No! <laughs> that will never get old. God. Yeah, there's a hole in the cellar. Where How big is the, the hole? We should let's go look. We don't just yeah, go, let's look. Gonna, so, yeah. gonna go look. Just gonna go down to the cellar. And also like, realizing that we should is, we should move surprise. this conversation because yeah. they're actually we are actually open to the public, so we should probably. Yeah. I don't want to know so, if anyone has noticed and and or is reacting to Leaf the ghost. So yeah. let's, we should go. People, you, like you all, especially after that that year long break, you understand that people think of this place as a very interesting tourist attraction. We're, we're the Jekyll and Hyde of, of Waterdeep, Disney's haunted mansion, but yeah. exactly. Waterdeep, yeah. <laughs> grim, grim grinning ghosts and all that. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, you. Um, you all make your way down to the cellar and it is, uh, the cellar is less clean than the rest of the manor, but you also, it's bigger than you thought. Um, Gazrik, you remember wanting to come down here to investigate the wine and there's a lot of wine down here. There's a lot of wine down here. How far, hey Leaf, how far back does the cellar even go? How? Was this your your doing? Volvo's doing? Because I, I don't. Oh, no, it, this, I, is, this, you, is, yeah. this is Volvo. This is mine. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. Yeah. We found some choice um, like vintages earlier. Um, traded it for some Melchimber wine that was of value. But I'd love to. Nice. We should appraise a lot of these materials in here. I'd love to get your uh, voice on. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, I found this this way. Um, and you get to a portion of the cellar that has not been like properly bricked. Hmm. Um, it's mostly just like a hard dirt wall. And yeah, about, I'm going to say it's about Gosrick size because we've been playing it fast and loose with exactly how big this wormling is. And they're mm-hmm. supposed to be medium sized, but I'm going to put them at a, about Fenris's, uh, about Fenris's size. Hmm. So yeah, there's about a like Gosrick slash Fenris sized hole, just like, in the cellar, in the cellar wall. I, I'm gonna walk through if you guys are okay with it. I mean, I, yeah, I, if we're doing this, we should probably all. So hold on, is is the hole in the floor, like can we see in there? It's not, it's not in the floor. It's not a horizontal hole. It is a vertical hole in okay. the wall ah. that can, can s- be walked or crawled through. Can we still see in there or is it dark? It is dark. It's dark. So I'm gonna gonna... actually, oh, go ahead. Dark vision. I, I, yeah, yeah, wait, I feel like we, yeah, I was gonna- Do we have the same idea? We do, but the problem is Virgil has dark vision and was about to do light. So I'm like, now people said dark vision. So I'm like, let's look before I give a black and white you know, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I was gonna tie a rope around Gosrick. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not that concerned about Gosrick. No, there. honestly, yeah. wow. he's, he's, he survives well enough oh. around the Avernus hole. I mean, come I on, <laughs> he's, um, he's very resourceful. Average, yeah. uh, like, amateur spelunker Gosrick. Uh, yeah, I'd love to take a, a peek just using my dark vision. If it's 
if it is my level, I'm, yeah, I just want to look inside um, and see yeah. what I see. So, um, so as you you kind of so the, the cellar is lit, right? Yeah. It's lit AF. Um, so you can see it probably about God fifteen or so feet into it before you actually lose light. Okay. And then as you look into it, there is like it just you, you can just see that it continues. Okay. Um. Nothing of note in the note in like the nearby range, but I don't know. It'd be worth it for all of us at least to be on the other side and then examine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I, we should figure out where this goes at the very least, because it is access to our home that we have only become aware of. Yeah. We could put a dragon door on it, like something that's at least safe. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's true. Yeah. yeah. Like, as as we can I'll, like, yeah, yeah. If that's something we can lock. That's great. But uh -huh. also, the hole is disturbing. Uh, when you say Fenris, uh, not a no, Fenris hole, uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, dragon size hole, um, is it? Does it look like something that was made by like, kind of burst through or like a pre-made? Uh, uh, no, it it looks. Like, like so, somebody scratched their way out of it. Yeah, and no, 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 not it. Sorry. You don't see any dirt in the cellar. Okay. So, okay. so there's there's no dirt in the cellar aside from you know what may crumble out of it, but it doesn't look like anybody, or you know, or at least aside from what may be on the baby's feet when he comes out of it. Sure, sure. So it okay. looks like it was scratched <laughs> inward. Got it. Okay, yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> uh, shall shall we? Sure. Forward. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Who's who's taking the lead? Um. I will let Fenris go, and then I'll take the lead. Okay. Then yeah, Virgil just quickly. Um. He quickly taps on Femrus's collar gently because he's now been warned about what it can do and um, and uses the, the light cantrip on it to yeah. just give us a bit of a beacon to follow Fenris. So it's it's just casting it's, it's just casting light ahead so we have a little bit more of a wiggle room. I'll walk on the other side of Celise once we get uh, on the other side of like this <clears> hole <throat> just to guide the location just so we know that we're always going in the right direction. Okay, um, so it is, uh, you will have to try, travel single file. It is okay. really behind. just, the, yeah. yeah, so you you are either crawling or, you know, or, you know, in, in Gazrik's case, he can just walk. Jahani has to duck <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you travel for, what, about a minute and a half, given round times and feet and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it comes out to well actually what you get to is a place where eventually it does open up so probably about 50 feet or so from the what you pursue per, perceive gosric is where the dragon is it mm -hmm. opens up and you are all able to stand at least mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and uh what you find when you get there is a very small uh, little pile of various coins. Uh, there are some spoons and some forks. Um, you see some little paint pots. Um, you yep. see, uh, uh, Kent, you were wondering where that cloak went. Uh, oh no. <laughs> there is a little wooden carving of an animal and sleeping on top of it is the bebe. Oh, perfect. Okay. And that's where we're going to cut it for today. Ah! What a layer. I'm sorry. This is the layer. most adorable thing ever. So you baby horde. Yeah. I, I love it. But yes. also, y'all, I'm nervous because everything so far has been completely normal. Yeah, no, everything I, has been everything has been a logical reason and explanation to it. Yep. And I'm terrified. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Maybe I just wanted us to have something that nothing went wrong. Did you? 
I don't think we know possible. how to appreciate like good secure love. I think that's just mm, what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you all so much for joining me for this completely normal episode of Rivals of Waterdeep. Yes. Uh, we've got about 15 minutes left uh, in the uh, in the stream. So as usual, we will take your questions directed at the characters only. Um, please preface your question with the word question in all caps so that we can see it. And as we wait for those questions to roll in, we will tell you all who we are, where we'll be, and what's going on this week until we see you next Sunday. Uh, so we'll go in the opposite way with Basud. Hey everyone, I'm Masood. You can find me on uh, Instagram and Twitter at Marudboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Um, yeah, uh, stuff that's going on with me, I'm here playing Rives of Waterdeep with these wonderful folks at D&D on Sundays, having a good time. On Tuesdays and Fridays, I play uh, Pokemon Legends right now with uh, on our channel here, um, going through a little bit of that game. I think I'm kind of close to the end, so I'll see if there's a new... And I also know Elden Ring is coming out, so that might be the new game that slides into that slot. We'll we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, other updates for me. Um, oh, I uh, I have a show that's going to open up uh, around in April, but we can talk about that later if you're in the Chicago area. I will be in LA from March 13th through March 20th, and um, for a wedding. But also, if you're a fan of the show, um, I'm going out there just to hang out as well. If you want to meet up, you want to kick it. I'd love to see you uh, in a COVID safe and friendly manner, of course. But yeah, uh, uh, that'll be out there during that time. And uh, look forward to getting out of Chicago in the middle of winter. It's going to be nice. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's me. You can find me more on Instagram and Twitter uh, at Marubai. Yay, it's the mm-hmm. Hanyo's turn. Mm-hmm. It's me. Hi, everybody. I'm Okenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hens. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and here on Twitch at DM Jazzy Hens. Uh, this is great. Kent is loving the chill life of a post adventure because clearly nothing bad is ever going to happen again. Uh, where else can you find me? Uh, tomorrow night, I will be back on the Codename Entertainment channel, See Any Games, uh, doing episode five. Wow, already. Uh, of a familiar quest where I pay, play uh, a worm druid. Yep, that's all I'm telling you. Come check us out. 8 p.m. Eastern uh, tomorrow night. See any games. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I stream on my channel. We were playing Andromeda on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Mass Effect Andromeda, uh, and the totally normal card game uh, inscription on Wednesday evenings. Uh, I will say, if you are uh, someone who has heard of Inscription, but like don't want to be spoiled and want to play it, maybe don't come hang out with me on Wednesday nights because we just got past like the big spoiler moment that everyone doesn't Ooh. want you to know about. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. you haven't already been hanging out with me and you don't want to be spoiled on this game. Thank you for your support. And also don't come hang out on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do it, y'all. It's worth yeah. seeing it for yourself. It is yeah. definitely worth seeing for yourself. So okay. if, you, if you haven't already been hanging out, uh, go play the game and then come hang out. Um, I think that's, oh, and I have a podcast. Uh, we drop new episodes on Wednesday. It's called The Last Refuge. Uh, we're in our ninth season and it's exciting. That's all. Yay, Brian. Uh, I have to look at my calendar because I have no idea what's going on with me. Um, let's see. I am Brian. I am Urban Bohemian pretty much everywhere on the internet. I stream on Twitch Tuesdays and Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, coming up this Tuesday, we may be playing some Destiny, or because getting into the servers on Tuesday on content drop days is impossible, I may be playing <laughs> that at the weekend. Um, uh, let's see, there are still two days left if you play Idol Champions. Um, first off, if you play Idol Champions, you should have added Salise and Shaka and Ahani to your lineup, first off. Just, just saying. You should also have picked up Fenris as a familiar, but there's another familiar in the uh, in the works, and it's Disco the Baby Moonstone Dragon. If you buy uh, Disco the Baby Moonstone Dragon in game, or you can buy it on the Steam store, I don't think other platforms are you able to buy DLC outside of the game. You um the net proceeds of all those sales through February 22nd, so just two more days, will benefit the Canadian Cancer Society. Disco will still be in the game, but do you really want to tell me that you bought Disco after it couldn't benefit a cancer charity and expect me to like look at you on a street? So I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, I will let you know on Twitter uh, what's going on with me because I think I might actually have a stretch of time where nothing's going on and I kind of want to lean into that. Oh, nice. <laughs> 
Not you and me, Eugenio. <laughs> 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 All right, Sharif. Hey, y'all. Uh, Sharif, uh, you could catch me at uh, any diaper changing station in America. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, uh, you can catch me at SharifJackson.com. S H A R E E F Jackson.com that has links to all the stuff. Um, and I'm also Sharif Jackson on all social networks. Um, I will be starting a little mini campaign um, on uh, Codename Entertainment's Twitch uh, account, CNE Games for Idol Champions, Court of the Raven Queen. Um, we're starting tomorrow, um, the 21st at 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, it'll be going for a few weeks. Um, and, uh, B Dave is DMing, which means I might almost go into death save. No, not almost definitely going to death saves again. <laughs> Are you going to uh, double vampire the first, this time? Do you get within double the first vampire? 15 minutes? <laughs> uh, I don't look, I don't put anything past, uh, past our, our friend B Dave. Um, but, uh, but, but yeah, no, it's, uh, uh, Aaron Evans, Mark Mir, Lauren Urban and DJ Knight. Um, nice. so we're all. Uh, going to be playing our characters from uh, our our respective games that are all in Idol Champions. So like that'll be very very fun. Um, and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna if I can find time I'm gonna stream this. But I've been playing a lot of Horizon Forbidden West. Oh, yeah. um, and, and if I get a chance to stream it, I would like to. But but like usually my sessions are really short. I'm like hopping on and off because of baby stuff. So I don't know if that's sure, sure. stream uh you know stream friendly um but but the game is awesome um so, so i'm loving it so yeah. that, that's me excellent and last but definitely last, <laughs> tanya please say something <laughs> um it i saw all of brian's busy this week i think uh because today at five o'clock central i'll be doing my last Legend of Vox Machina watch party. We're going to deep dive, look for Easter eggs. If people are around, we might get on voice and, and discuss. If you have somehow not watched the last three episodes, come by, hang out. But we will be uh, talking a lot more than usual. And uh, I will have my mods enforce rules because we all want to have fun doing this. And then, um, oh my God, Wednesday, I'm doing two streams, I just realized. Oh. At 12 p.m. Central. Look, I stole your busy. I said that, Brian. Uh, 12 p.m. Central, I'm going to guest over on the Gamehurst Twitch channel. Uh, I won an award from them this year, a Mm -hmm. game designer, which I still don't know how that happened, but it is what it is. And then I'm going to speed run DJ Knight, Imperial, and Frisk through the Infernal Goose Chase over on the Logitech G channel for Black History Month. And we're raising money for Black Girl Smile. So uh, 4 p.m. Pacific, I'm sorry, 4 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Pacific, Wednesday, coming to Logitech G and uh 12 p.m central come over to game hers thursday black dice society fenris did a thing or fenris fen did a thing she has nepenthe with her and they might have interacted with Strahd just a little bit um so yeah dj desmond and fen need to have a real serious talk when we go back and uh then sunday i'm back here with with these fine folks uh, and I have been your dungeon master extraordinaire, Lakia Jakis, uh, with a completely normal episode of uh, Rivals of Waterdeep. Uh, I have nothing going on, I don't think. I keep saying I'm going to stream, but who knows if that's going to happen. Check me out on Twitter to find out if that happens. It will be uh, magnificent. Um, we are going to raid. Uh, we got questions. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. You, you know what? I, I said questions and then I'm the bad one. It's sorry. It's All okay. right, hold on. Questions. Uh, first question is for Kent. I'm so sorry. Uh, will you take back your cloak? No, and I'll tell you why. Because I don't need it because I have my glamour outfit so I can create a replica of it. And he, there's something about the like opaline lining of the cloak that's there, like with the gold of the wormling that is just too shiny to take away. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, question, another question for Kent. Uh, 
So you, you actually kind of already answered this one. What yeah. color was the cloak that the dragon made off with and why was it your second favorite one? Well, I think it was my favorite. I just happened to have a method of like making an identical one with my glamored armor. So I think it was the black one with the, the opal shiny uh, mother of pearl lining. <gasps> Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a nice. That's a nice. I, I understand why the dragon wanted it. That's a good cloak. Yeah. Well, and, I got and taste. Also, that's why it took me a second to decide that I wasn't taking it back because yes, <laughs> right. I can recreate it, but that cloak is, you know, it's got history. Um, and then we have a question for Gosric. How does it feel to be the second best chef of Troll Skull Manor? Uh, excuse me. I'm the best living chef in Troll Skull Manor. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You know, no, no, I've got the world record for best chef, living chef in Troll Skull Manor. So I don't know what you're talking about, bud. Uh oh, I think we're going to have to have a one shot Master Chef episode. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I, would, I would love that. I'd add I get this advantage on all my roles. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, when Celise hears that, she pops out of the office. I need a certificate of authenticity on that claim, Gosrick. Seriously, world record? Like, wait a second. Like, who who accredited that? What's going on? I am the world's best Trollsco Manor chef. Living. No, you're not. <laughs> Living. Damn, this is about to be a th- whole thing. What? Okay. You're not. Dude, you, you, do you make better ice spiders too? I don't eat ice spiders. I'm not a weirdo like you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, okay. if we're going on the metrics of ice spider stew, you are definitely the best ice spider stew chef in Trolls uh-huh. Manor, but... Uh, You're the general... only one who's been willing to make ice spiders. Like, yeah, I think right. you could claim that title. I think you could claim that title. Thank you. Best Thank you. ice spider chef in Troll School. There you go. Uh, maybe best ice spider chef in the world. In Troll School. Hey. And then a couple days later, you have a very crudely drawn certificate from Duo that says <laughs> Ice Spider Stew. The, e, the R is backwards, and uh, he's <laughs> made your beard entirely too bushy, but you. Oh, you that's just yeah. like the stuff that Shaka won from the Witchlight Carnival. Like very authentic prizes. Yes, very mm-hmm. authentic. Look, yeah. I, won, I, I won so much <laughs> that, you know, uh-huh. I'm, a, I'm, I'm a giving man. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a giving tea phone, I should say. All right. Thank you all so much. That is going to do it for our questions. And we are, I believe we're going to go raid I Just Love Puzzles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, chill Stream deserves a chill place to raid into. And uh, she just does puzzles. And it's super chill. Uh, this is a brand new person for us. So everybody uh, show up, show out, be kind, be Best chill. Behavior. Best behavior. And we will catch you all next week. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.